Welcome, Lana. So, what is cache memory? Now, most of my students or other people often ask, uh, what is cache memory? So, this is a very uh, fast or super fast uh, memory that stores frequently accessed uh, data. So, from this particular diagram, we are going to understand uh, maybe uh, where it is situated within our computer, uh, what are some of its functions, our features and so on. Now this particular diagram, if you look at it, you can see that at the top where we have the central processing unit, uh, we have the cache memory. So that means there are two types of memories here that are often uh, confused. Uh, this is the main memory, you can see it is actually towards the left side and the cache memory actually is at the central location of the processor. So that means the cache memory is always found within the processor, right? So cache memory is closer to the processor compared to the main memory, which is often a little bit far uh, from the processor. So that means when the processor is fetching instructions, it is going to first check on the cache memory for the available instruction before it checks uh, from the main memory. So that means a cache memory offers a convenient uh, a platform where the processor can quickly access those particular uh, uh, instructions that it was to process. So when you look at this particular diagram, we can actually uh, see the difference first between the main memory and the cache memory and ideally understand what this particular uh, cache memory uh, is. So as we proceed to understand what uh, is cache memory, I want us to carry this diagram with us so that we know where it is uh, located and in comparison with the main memory, where the main memory is and where the cache memory uh, is, right? So a cache memory ideally is a type of volatile memory. Volatile means it loses information, it's temporary, which is used uh, for extremely fast access of information, right? So in most computers, you'll find that this cache uh, comes in different uh, forms. We can have one cache memory, you can have two cache memories, you can even have a three. So the more the cache memory, the faster <laughs> the processor, right? So ideally, typically you'll find that uh, most computers have up to level two uh, cache memory. So cache uh, level one memory is normally situated within uh, the processor itself. Then you can always find that level two, level three are situated outside the processor itself, right? But they help improve the speed of the CPU. Now that you have looked at the role of the cache memory, right? So the more the cache memory, the faster the transfer uh, rate of the ORT, of the instructions, right? So when you are looking at the cache memory, you need to look at it uh, from the point that it is closer to the processor and it provides uh, the uh, it, it provides a fast access option compared to the main memory, right? So if you look at this, cache memory is actually close to the uh, processor or the CPU and the main memory is a bit far. So before the processor interacts with the main memory, first it checks the availability of the data or instructions uh, within the cache uh, memory. And this is a typical block diagram, just shows that interaction between uh, the cache and the CPU offers a word transfer. And of course, uh, from the main memory uh, to the cache offers a block transfer. So here is our situation whereby if the CPU doesn't get the much needed instruction from cache, cache has to check from the main memory and it has to transfer this in a block uh, form. So we need to understand that between the CPU and the main memory, we have the cache. And in general, the operation of the cache uh, goes through step-by-step -step process, right? So normally the CPU requests con uh, contents from the main memory, then it checks for the cache if this data is available, right? So if it's present in the cache memory, then it offers a fast way of uh, retrieving this particular data. 
if it's not present within the cache memory, it will force the processor then uh, to, uh, to check uh, within the main memory via the cache uh, memory. And then of course, before it processes the instruction from the main memory, it first needs to put a copy of it within the cache memory, right? So that at least next time, when these particular instructions need to be fetched, it doesn't check again from the auto, uh, from the main memory. So ladies and gentlemen, those are just some key uh, difference or rather uh, some features of cache uh, memory. So if someone wants to understand what cache memory, uh, then uh, this particular tutorial uh, serves that particular information. All right, thanks.